Hey guys, uh, this is Manuel from Dominican Republic and this video is for the Dominican route. I want to show you what a cemetery looks like, what a cemetery looked like in, in the Dominican Republic. But this is a cemetery for the, the average Dominican person, not, not the rich. Let me show you. So as you can see, it looks like houses. So every family has its own, its own land. You have to purchase a piece of land so you can build one of this for your family. If you don't have the money to purchase one of this, so you can, the cemetery office, they can rent you or sell you one of these boxes. So this is what it looks like little houses see so you see this guy right here was born 1940 died 2020 see this woman 1935 this is when she was born march 16 1935 and died under 2011. all right here you see you see this one is open it's because my uncle died and i'm just waiting for them now to come and we are going to bury my, my uncle right there in that little box. This is my family one. All right. So John was asking me how funeral services work in the Dominican Republic. So everybody in the, well, not everybody, but most of the people pay to a funeral home um, service. So in my case, in my family, we are three people in the house and we pay the equivalent to six or seven dollars a month to a funeral home. Um, so if any of the family members die, we have all the funeral services figured out. So they give if you if you pass, um, they give you the um, the coffin, the funeral home place where you expose your 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 loved one and everybody go there and they express their condolences blah 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 so let's say your family member dies at 10 o'clock in the morning that person is going to be buried tomorrow the latest at two o'clock in the afternoon it can be it could be a max of 48 hours but no more than that why because if you want to keep the corpse for more than that then you will have to pay extra money because they have like a, like a fridge like a refrigerator where, where they put the corpse and that costs us money and it's kind of expensive so that's why you have 48 hours to do what you're gonna do and that's part of our culture that we keep, we do that either in 24 or 48 hours. So it's not actually 24, let's say like in 30 something hours. You die in the morning, you will be buried tomorrow like at 2 o'clock. So the car, they, they have a funeral car. The car takes you, uh, takes you to the cemetery. Before you go to the cemetery, you need to go to the cemetery's office and you pay 2000 pesos which is like 40 or 50 dollars you pay 50 dollars that's like some kind of a like a tax that you have to pay to bury someone so um you already saw the graveyards they are very different here in the dr they look like like little houses with multiple rooms like square rooms so that's approximately what it is. So we pay like $7 a month 
that's nothing basically but if you make the numbers and you pay that amount for 20 years 30 years then it's maybe a little bit of money right so it's not expensive it's not that expensive what happens if you die and you don't have the funeral services um, covered let's say you don't have funeral funeral services membership or anything like that then you're gonna have to pay out of pocket and it's going to be a lot more expensive that is expensive if you do it out of pocket let's say you are very very poor that you don't have the money to afford it then there is an off a government office when you go they can get you a coughing and, and then you can do it in your house you can do all the process like like the, the funeral stuff in your house in the past the majority of the people they used to do the funeral services in the house and all the money they had accumulated at the funeral home services was given to them in cash like a certain amount of money so you can do everything yourself anyway they give you the coffin they give you the car and they give you the shares and some more stuff but now most of the people they uh, rather to do it at the funeral home services so we have like half and half some people do it at the funeral home services funeral home place and some other people do it at the house that's part of our culture why we do it at the house well when I was born that, that's the way it was and it's still that way so um, you go to the cemetery um, when you get there, you, 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 your family must have a, a graveyard already. And if you don't have one, the cemetery, they will sell you one or they will rent you one. So you can rent one, right? And that's basically how it works. Um, I, I'm not sure how the whole process works. Oh, but I see you um, give food uh, in the States. Uh, at the funeral, you have like snacks. I've seen that on TV. You have snacks and people can eat. At the funeral, we don't have snacks. The only thing you can get is coffee. Coffee is what you're going to get there. So once the person is buried, um, seven, uh, seven days later, uh, a week later, we do something that you don't do in the United States. It's like a... It, it should be translated like a like a final goodbye so a lot of people gather in your house that's done in your house they put a picture of you in the middle of the house they pray for a catholic people the priest he, he comes over to your house and they do some prayers and stuff they last us like two hours and that's what we call in spanish in the dominican republic it's called el rezo or un funeral. But so the body, the, the corpse, is not there anymore. That happens seven, seven days later. That's called rezo in Spanish. We do that here. So that's basically how it works. That's basically the, the way it works. And at the funeral, we use uh, black and white clothing, outfit most of the people it is not it's not mandatory but that's what people do and i hope you i hope you liked it my i hope you like my explanation have a good day bye